Now, of course, uh, this is Thanksgiving week, uh, a time when families everywhere gather together to give thanks. Well, unfortunately, there are many family members who have worn out their welcome, and they uh, face the prospect of spending the holiday alone. That's why, with only two days left before Thanksgiving, it's time for our annual Unwanted Relative Drive. <laughs> this is where we try to provide foster families for some of our nation's most undesirable kin. So if you see someone tonight whom you'd be willing to tolerate at your Thanksgiving table, all you need to do is dial 1-600-UNWANTED. Thank you very much. Get near the phone. First up is uh, Ron Garber. He's from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Ron is the classic near-do-well older brother. He's a 39-year-old unemployed radio DJ who's still waiting to hear about an opening as the morning guy on a soft rock station in Allentown, Pennsylvania. He does character voices, but not very well. Ron, now show him a little of your Jack Nicholson. I'm not going to hurt you, Wendy. I'm going to bash your brains in. Wasn't that just awful? Next up, it's Grandma Esther McNulty. She's affable, loves to help out in the kitchen, and she really likes kids. What's the drawback? Her eye-watering stench. Isn't that right, Esther? I leak! <laughs> yes, you do. Thank you. Meet the... Uh... You'll find someone. Meet cousin Raoul Lemaire. Raoul is a highly educated an outgoing French expatriate who has lived in the United States for the last 15 years. He brings to your table a truly enlightened global perspective on politics, art, and progressive jazz. Raoul, like most Europeans, wears thong underwear. That's right, and he's going to spend most of the meal trying to pull that uncomfortable string of elastic out of his butt crack. Play with your butt, Raoul. Very good, thank you. Next up is Cousin Lenny Detweiler. Cousin Lenny's claim to fame, a perverse sexual history. Most of it revolving around large poultry, cranberry sauce, and yam. That's right. In other words, and he can't catch. In other words, the perfect Thanksgiving guest. And finally, Aunt Betty O'Hara and her friend Shirley Langdon always come as a pair. You get two for the price of one. They're not much for conversation and they tend to stare at the candles and drink a little too much wine. But they're guaranteed to top off the meal by spontaneously groping and tonguing one another. Isn't that right, ladies? You're not going to do it now, are you? Thank God. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll take a break. Dial the number if you can. You want to go now? Garth Brooks coming up. We'll see you in a second.